With the release of Arctic Studio 16, myself and the team here at ThingLab have thought we'd put together a few short videos to show you some of the new features we're most excited about. One of these uh, is the ability to define freeforms. We've touched on focusing more on CAD primitives in another video, but the ability to define a surface model can be incredibly powerful when we're wanting to do specifically surface modeling in CAD. Now, we simply use a freeform, we start to define areas on a particular object. I've picked this for a reason, it's got a slightly organic shape. We select a surface and we say fit a patch. The software does an amazing job of uh, wrapping surface or a CAD mathematical surface over our mesh model. Uh, and there's no limit to the number of these that we can do essentially. So I'm going to define another one across the top here that takes into account this chamfer. Uh, I'm also going to take another one, I think, of this small area here, which I think can be useful because this is a slightly unusual shape. Uh, I'm also going to take one on the underside of here. And we can also possibly define one on the belly of this um, uh, joint. Okay, now the other thing that we can all agree on, I think, is this is a cylinder at the top. So what I'm going to do is select a cylinder, define an area here, and I'm going to fit that cylinder to it. Now with these group of mathematical surfaces, we can take them into CAD and we can use them for CAD modeling, or surface modeling rather. Now we've got a range of different surfaces here. We can drop them into CAD. Using our 3D sketch tools, we can trace along the top, cut them, or use the, the overlapping meshes or the overlapping surfaces to cut one another to create a perfect mesh model. Now this is a massive leap forward and incredibly powerful and rather exciting. If you guys want to have a chat about it, have a chat about workflows or how you can possibly use it, please reach out and we'd love to, love to hear from you.